Nobdeck 2020, question number 11, express 21 x minus 7 over x minus 2 x plus 3 x squared plus x plus 1 as partial fraction. Now we have 21 x minus 7 all over x minus 2. We have x plus 3 x squared plus x plus 1. So here we have this would be a over x minus 2 then plus b all over x plus 3 and then now x squared plus x plus 1 this quadratic and it cannot be factorized in the realm of real numbers hence we get that is cx plus b all over the x squared plus x plus 1. now what is the lcm the lcm is x minus 2 x plus 3 x squared plus x plus 1 so you multiply each Ten by it. So when you multiply it by this, everything will cancel. You have twenty-one x minus seven equal to. Now when you multiply everything here by this, x minus two will cancel x minus two. And what is left? What is left is x plus three x squared plus x plus one. We have to be very very careful. Now when you multiply this by this, x plus three will cancel x plus three. So what do you have? You have our b, and then x minus two, and then we have x squared plus x plus 1 and then plus cx plus d cx plus d now this is cancelling out that what is left x minus 2 x plus 3 we have x minus 2 x plus 3 now first let's use the cover up method now the cover up method we can see that when you put x equal to negative 3 this will go this will go and then we'll be able to solve b so you can see put x equal to negative 3 why when i put negative 3 here it will cancel those ones out so this implies i have 21 negative 3 minus 7 equal to a so i have negative 3 plus 3 and a negative 3 square plus negative 3 plus 1 and then plus rb that is negative 3 minus 2 negative 3 square plus negative 3 plus 1 plus now c negative 3 plus d and then we have negative 3 minus 2 negative 3 plus 3 yes. so from here we have 21 times negative 3 and this is giving us that's negative 63 minus 7. now this one will be zero this will be zero so multiplying by everything that will be zero because negative 3 plus 3 that is zero so you have zero plus now let's see this is so we have our b and then negative 3 minus 2 that is negative 5. now negative 3 squared that is 9 9 minus 3 plus 1 now let's see here um, over here to clearly let's see now you see this one will be 0 so because it's multiplication everything will be 0 and then from here what do you have that is negative 70 equal to now let's see we have b negative 5 and then 9 minus 3 that is 6 plus 1 so we have 7 now negative 5 times 7 that is negative 35 so negative 70 equal to negative um, 35b we want to find b we divide both sides but what is multiplying that so you have negative 70 all over negative 35 negative 35b all over negative 30. so this will cancel this so this will be a one this will be a two so we have b to be equal to two Now, so the first one we put x to be equal to negative 3. Now, using the coral method, what about when you put x equal to 2? When you put x to be equal to 2, b will go away, and then um, this one would also go away. So you can say that put x to be equal to positive 2, because I know when I put 2 here, this will be equal to 0. So wherever I see x, I'll put 2 over there, so I have 21, 2, minus 7 equal to now what do i have here i have a so 2 
plus 3. And that's 2 squared plus 2 plus 1. Plus B, 2 minus 2. And then I have 2 squared plus 2 plus 1. Plus C, we have 2 plus D. And then this is 2 minus 2, 2 plus 3. Now, let's see 21 times 2. This is 42 minus um, 7. Now, what do we have here? This is A, 2 plus 3, that is 5. Now, this is giving us 4 plus 2 plus 1. And then here we get everything zero because 2 minus 2 is zero. Zero times everything here, that will be zero. Now, 2 minus 2 is zero. Zero times everything here, that is zero. Now, 42 minus 7, this is just 35. Equal to, now let's see, we have A. 5, now 4 plus 2, 6 plus 1, that is 7. So we have. 35 equal to 35a. Now we want to find a. So we have to divide both sides, but what is multiplying it? Which is 35. So we have 35 all over 35 equal to 35a all over 35. So this will cancel that this will be a 1, this will be a 1. So our a is equal to 1. Now clearly we can still consider any values with exception of the x equal to negative 3 and then x equal to 1 so that you can get simultaneous equation and solve. However, we can also multiply so that we compare coefficients. So that is what I want to do. I want us to multiply so that we compare coefficients. Don't forget to subscribe. Make sure you share the links with your friends as well. Now, so let's expand and compare coefficients. So you have our 21x minus 7 equal to a. Now when we multiply through with this, we are going to get that is x cubed plus x squared plus x. That's when we multiply through with x. And then when we multiply through with 3, we get 3x squared plus 3x plus 3. That's 3 times everything here. So plus our b. Now let's multiply through with our x. So x times everything here. That will be x squared, x cubed, x cubed. Plus x, 1 plus 2, that's 3. So plus x squared plus x. Then minus 2x squared minus 2x minus 2. Minus 2. Got negative 2 times that. Now, plus we have cx plus d. Now, when we expand this, uh, that is x minus 2, x plus 3. This will give us, that is, uh, okay, so this will give us that is x squared plus 3, x minus 2, x minus 6. Now, so this is equal to your e here, s cube, now x squared plus x squared, that is 4x squared, x plus 3x, this is 4x plus 3 and then we have plus our b we have x cubed now x square minus x 2x square that's negative x square x minus 2x negative x minus 2 plus now this is giving us that is cx plus d and then this is giving us that is x square plus, uh, let's see, 3x minus 2x, that is x minus 6. So this is 21x minus um, 7. Now expanding here, what do you have? ax cubed plus 4ax squared, that is what trying to refer to e, plus 4ax plus 3e. And then expanding here, we have bx cubed minus b x squared minus b x minus 2 b now when we multiply to with c x to it, what are we going to get plus c x cube times this plus c x squared times this minus c 6 c 
x and I'm going to multiply to the d I'm going to get d x squared plus d x minus 6 so we have 21 x minus 7 now let's group the terms let's see we have a b and then c all to the power 3 so that will be a plus b plus c and when you factorize x to the power 3 out so we have x to the power 3 s cubed x you factorize it out that's what you get now let's come to the squares with the squares we have plus now let's see 4 a so we have 4 a 4 a here now where's another square minus b that's x square we have another square plus c and then plus d plus d and then we have x square multiplying now let's see the ones with x what do you have here you have plus 4 e 4 a x now minus b minus b minus b and then minus 6 c minus 6 c then plus d this is multiplying we have x multiplying it uh, then the constant terms constant the ones without x we have plus 3e we have plus 3a minus 2b minus 2b and then the one without x do you have any ones here without x the ones without x and then we have negative 6 negative 6 now what's the coefficient of x Cube. There's no x cube here, so we can write this as 0 s cube. Now, x square, we don't have coefficient of x square here, so we can write 0 x square plus 21 x minus 7. And this is the same as that. Clearly, comparing coefficients, comparing coefficient of x cube, when you compare coefficient of x cube, so you have 0 is equal to a plus b plus c. So you can see a plus b plus c this is equal to zero but what is a but our a is one and then b is two so putting it inside what are we going to get our a is one b is two plus c equal to zero so here we have three plus c equal to zero and this implies our c is negative three c is negative three now we want to find so we now know a b and then c but we don't know d so let's find d now comparing coefficient of x squared now the coefficient of x squared of 0 x squared 0 so 0 is equal to x squared that's the coefficient of the x squared 4a minus b plus c plus d we have 4a minus b plus c um, plus d now what is our a our a is 1 so 0 equal to 4 a is 1 b is 2 and then our c is negative 3 plus our d so clearly what do you have 4 minus 2 minus 3 plus d we have our 0 now 4 minus um, 2 that's the 2 minus 3, that's negative 1. So negative 1 plus D, 0. Hence, our D is just positive 1. We've got this move here. And then we have our D to be 1. Now, what do we know? What is our A? We know our A. We had our A to be 1. Our B is 2. Our C is negative 3. And then this D is just 1. So in place of the a we put the value of a over there we put the value of b over there c we put it over there and then we also put the value of d also over there therefore therefore 21 x minus 7 all over that is x minus 2 x plus 3 x squared plus x plus 1 let's just equal to what is our a our a is 1 so you have 1 all over x minus 2 now what is our b? Our b is 2, so we have 2 all over x plus 3. 
Now we have Cx minus plus the bar C is negative, so you have negative 3x and then our D is 1 all over x squared plus x plus 1. But we can rewrite it as 1 over that is x minus 2 plus 2 all over x plus 3 and then plus 1 minus 3x. Uh, because this negative, I'm just taking it there all over x squared plus x plus 1. What's in of deck 20? Um, 2020 question number 11. That is very, very trivial. Make sure that you subscribe, share the videos also to your friends. And don't forget, no pain, no gain.